So welcome everybody. Today is February the 7th, 2021. Welcome to Channeling Korea. Um, this evening is um, when I was tuning into the energy. It was so I was the message I'm getting is that um, things are going to happen very fast now. So what does that mean? I don't know. So let's, um, let's just start by getting into a short meditation and then the, the channel will begin and then afterwards we can do a question and answer. So let's just begin by turning our attention inwards. So everybody can just start to follow your own breath and use your own breath, the rhythm of your own breath to start to bring back all your focus and attention towards yourself. Just like as you breathe in, you call back all of your attention back into yourself. And as you breathe out, breathe out anything that is distracting you from this moment and continue to bring back your attention towards yourself. Meaning that don't try to think about what happened earlier or what's going to happen tomorrow, but just be in this moment. Just be with your body. Let your attention, your body, your energy be just with yourself. And just take a few more breaths to allow yourself to become calm and centered again. Allow your own breathing to start to be smoothed out. And then as you feel more calm and centered, set the intention to start to elongate your breath, meaning to take longer to breathe in and take longer to breathe out. And when you elongate your breath, you send a signal to your body that you are now in relaxed mode. You can let go of the, the fight or flight response and just be peaceful and calm and be in this moment with your body. Allow your shoulders to relax. Allow all the rest of your body to relax as well. And then shift your focus into your heart. Imagine that you are taking an energetic elevator that takes you from your head all the way down into your heart. And when your focus is in your heart, choose to feel unconditional love. As you breathe in, breathe in unconditional love for yourself, for this body, for your wonderful vessel that allows you to experience earth and all its wonderful excitement that earth allows us to feel. Choose to love, to love unconditionally your body yourself, your life, your surrounding. 
In fact, everything and everybody choose to feel unconditional love for all of creation, especially including yourself. And with each breath that you breathe in, feel more of that unconditional love. Really allow yourself, allow your body to feel this unconditional love. This wonderful, warm and fuzzy feeling that we associate with unconditional love. And when you feel this in your body, allow this unconditional love to flow out from your body into your environment. And know that this unconditional love is limitless and eternal. So, even when you flow this unconditional love from you into your surrounding, you will always be replenished. There is always more of that unconditional love that's coming back into you, just like there is no shortage of air for you to breathe. Send unconditional love to Earth, to Mother Earth. and feel Mother Earth returning your unconditional love a million times over. And send love to the sun, to Father Sky. And feel Father Sky returning your love a million times over. And feel yourself being cocooned in this unconditional love that is coming within you and all around you. That is what we should always feel. We should always feel this sense of being taken care of, of being loved, of being accepted unconditionally. That is who we are. That is the consciousness of who we are. We are the creator. We create ourselves. We create our lives. And we, the, we are also the observer of our creation. We are the consciousness that is moving forward in this ever flowing moment. When we are here, when we are focused on the moment and focus on creating and enjoying each and every moment, 
there is no room for us to judge ourselves or judge other people because we are so fully immersed in each and every experience of each and every moment. And that is the best way to live. That is the best way for us to sample, to taste and to experience all that this beautiful playground of Mother Earth has to offer. That is what we are supposed to come here to be, is to experience our own creation. To fully own each and every one of our experiences. And to be in love with the life that we get to live from moment to moment. It is a privilege. It is a joy to be able to experience all that Mother Earth has to offer us. It is very different kind. It's a very different way of experiencing. It's very different from living in our head. When we live in our head, we are trying to look from approval or look to other people to see what it is that we are supposed to enjoy. What is it that other people find as being acceptable or enjoyable? And we forget to really check in and be present with ourselves, to trust, to really trust ourselves, to trust our vessel, to trust our own discernment. We give too much attention to what other people think and not enough attention to what really resonates with us. But it's never too late. We can always start now in this moment. To simply be yourself, unapologetic, just you, magnificent, beautiful, flawless, eternal, limitless you. All of you, each and every one of you, is this, is this eternal, flawless, limitless being. We don't always have access to that being. 
that essence that's within you that is time to come out. Time to honor that being within you. Feel that. Feel that being within you that is full of love. That is the source of love. And it is overflowing from you. Feel that being within you that has an open heart that is unafraid that is simply light an innocent child that is ready to play, ready to play with Mother Earth, ready to play and co-create with all your other playmates. Get in touch with that part of you. Feel that part of you being alive and well within. And fall in love with you. With that part of you that is bigger than life. That is truly ready to come. And step in. And to guide to guide your other parts, to synchronize and play and co-create as one unit. Go, let go of your fears. Let go of your training. That fear is going to keep you safe. Fear does not really keep you safe. Fear simply keep you from living fully. being completely in the moment and being present to the moment to keep you safe and being completely open to everything that this moment has to offer you will allow you to once again live to truly live and experience take advantage 
of the best that each moment has to offer you. We don't get ill when we are in the moment. When we are in the moment and we are flowing with the moment, our life force is strong. It is invigorating. And when we are synchronized and coherent, our body works together in harmony. We not only don't get sick, we actually begin to heal ourselves. It is only when we cower in fear, when we second guess ourselves all the time, when we try so hard to not make a mistake, that's when we stop ourselves from really, really living that's when our energy within our body stop moving and becomes stagnant over time. And that is when illness, when our body starts to give us some feedback. It is when our emotions are stuck in high gear, when we're always fighting fire, we're trying to prevent our emotions from erupting uncontrollably out. That is when our body starts to become addicted to certain emotions and then we start to create more and more situation for us to feel that same emotion so that our body can get that hit of adrenaline and that's when we start to exhaust our body because our body is always stuck in trying to create the same hormonal, the same hormonal drugs. To try, try to perpetuate of us to stuck in that emotion. It's, it's not easy to be stuck in that. And imagine being stuck in that state of being highly alert for 10 <coughs> Excuse me. For 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, can you imagine how our body would become depleted when it is always stuck in high gear? How about if we simply make that choice to 
it no longer feed that addiction. No longer feed that emotion. No longer try to stay in that high excitement state. But allow ourselves to just enjoy the moment. Sometimes the the moment is very peaceful and calm, and sometimes it is very colorful. And yet, when the colorful bits is over, our body would be able to come back into peace and calm. We become flexible. We no longer stuck in high gear or stuck in low gear all the time. And we have the flexibility to have the full range of experiences to be able to check inward and really choose. What would be best for me to experience in this moment, and be able to shift into that and create that for ourselves? And then, when we're done, we can simply let go without judging the experience, without trying to chase after. The same high, over and over again, and just be able to enjoy the highs and savor the lows, and always keep that flexibility within us, so that we can go with the flow. Of what life has to offer, of what Mother Earth has to offer. To be able to choose the person who we want to feel in each and every moment. So that we no longer need to always be the one that knows everything, and we no longer need to be the one that is always judgmental, or we no longer need to be the one that has to compromise. And please, other people. Oh, we no longer have to be the one that is always trying to be different, to be the influencer. And we would be able to enjoy all. Of these experiences, without identifying how about we only identify with. What resonate with us in this moment? Free yourself.
free yourself. Free yourself from needing to be the same person all the time. Free yourself from needing always to have the same dynamic with your family, with your friends, with your co-workers. Free yourself to be who you decide to be in each moment. Free yourself so that there are times when you need to be the leader. And free yourself Because sometimes you simply need to be a follower. Free yourself so that sometimes you have to go and walk a journey by yourself, not forever for a part of the journey. Sometimes you simply need to be the only one to take that journey. Free yourself to be all of that without needing to identify and label yourself as being anything in particular. You are you. That is the only. That is the only label. Beyond that, allow yourself the freedom to be anything that you choose to be in this moment. Decide who you feel like being What do you feel like to experience in this moment? And try that on. Try it on fully. Take on that identity. Be that. And live from that. Create from that. Take action and be. Until it no longer makes sense or serves you anymore. And then give yourself the freedom and permission to be someone else. And yet through all of that, there is this one person that goes through all of that. And that is you. 
that is you, the spirit. Your spirit came here to experience, to gain that experience. It is not about being anyone. It is about knowing, getting to know that you are all of that. You are whomever it is that you choose to be in this moment. And in the next moment, You have freedom to choose to be something completely different. That is what we are here to play with. That is what we are here to experience. To be dedicated to the unfolding of our spirit. To be so dedicated to that. And we allow ourselves the freedom to be whomever it is that we need it to be in order to support the unfolding of our spirit. What did you come here to experience? What excites you most? You may not be able to remember that yet. Help yourself to let go of the fear. We actually have all the answers within ourselves. We have the access. We are all knowing, or at the very least, we have the capability to download that information. What is it that is preventing you from remembering? What would you give to be able to remember who you truly are and why you are here?
Don't beat yourself over the head if you don't know the answer yet. Just truly, truly trust that the answer, it's already there within you. Set the intention that you are ready to know that. Simply set that intention within yourself and simply observe. Observe what comes up. Observe what fears comes up. Observe what events you begin to conjure up in order to distract yourself from remembering. And simply observe all you need to do. Observe until you hear the answer. You will know what the answer is because it will have a frequency, a vibration that matches your question. you would know that is it seems magical and it is magical the magic is normal You simply don't really understand how your mind actually works. And when you finally understand, you would know that magic is normal. Magic is simply something that you don't understand. How come it's possible? In this moment, you may not understand. Simply allow, simply allow yourself to remember the answers to all your questions. Every time you ask a question, you may not get the answer right away. And yet you always get a question, an answer. It may take a while for your mind to download the answer. You may have asked a question two weeks ago or two years ago. And then all of a sudden, you're given a piece of information your answer and everything just become easier and it makes sense. So 
So just trust, trust. Never give up. If there is something that you want to know, simply ask that question within and wait for it, observe. Be yourself. It's a very simple idea. And yet most people do not know how to be themselves. Be yourself. Consciously choose who you are. You are not your condition. You are not your reactions. You are not your identities. You are way more than that. It is when you love yourself enough to see through what drives you unconsciously. And when you can see the unconscious drivers, you can start to let go of those drivers and recover and be able to choose to choose your identity in this moment. And be able to choose who you want to be in this moment rather than reacting from all the unconscious programming, training, reactions that compels you to feel a certain way, or to be a certain way. When you love yourself that much, to let go of your compulsions, and you start to recover who you are. start to be able to choose you start to be able to create who you are in this moment and in every moment You are that. You are the infinite and limitless. 
You can be everything and everyone. If you allow yourself that freedom, you will find out. And first, you have to let go of all the unconscious drivers. Start to dig deep within to let go of all the unconscious drivers. That is dictating what you feel. How you look. What emotions that is going through your mind and what your body is supposed to feel like. When you have recovered your true self, You are free. You're free to be whatever you choose to be. You play. You'll be able to play on earth and wherever you go. That is where you're heading. Regaining your freedom again. So that no one else, no circumstances, nothing outside of you can compel you to react, then you are free to choose who you want to be in every moment. We can't wait to have you be free. So know the truth, that you are already free. You don't need to carry around all these unconscious drivers anymore. You are already free. You are already the creator and you have always been that. Now is the time to remember That is our message for this evening. We love you. We hold the love for you. That you already are that love.
We're simply holding that space for you to step into that love, that unconditional love once again. Thank you for giving us this opportunity. Thank you, thank you, thank you.